Nice to meet you. You too. Joe. Come on in. How are you? Pleasure to meet you. Joe. Hi. Hi. Hello. What's your name? Jake. Hi, Jake. Pleased to meet you. Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, pleasure to meet you, Chris. Pleasure to meet you. This is Alexa. Hi, Alexa. Pleased to meet you. This is Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Hi, pleased to meet you. I'm Joe. So I'm just going to, you know, just observe and uh, hang out, really. OK. All right. Okay. Shortly after I arrived, Noah and Ryan vanished upstairs to play video games, but Mum had felt that they'd already played enough. Do choose a different activity, that's just what we're doing. But Ryan went straight on as if Mum never said a word. Ryan, I said turn it off. The kids do not listen to me. I'm talking to them and they're not even looking at me. That's naughty. I asked you to turn it off. Give me the controller. Let go. Ryan. Mum was trying to make a point by taking away Ryan's game controller, but instead she ended up in a tug of war. I'm not going to play it. Just let me have the controller. What are you going to do with the controller if I give it to you? I'm going to put it back where it's supposed to go. Do it right now. In the end, I gave in and didn't really follow through with what I wanted. It's not your job. I I'm your mommy. What does he mean by it's not your job? What's not your job? To tell him that he can't play it. Not only did Mum allow Ryan to keep the game controller, but she also allowed him to disrespect her. And this boy has got his mum wrapped around his finger. I'm going to go out for a little while, OK? Later on in the day, Mum went off to work and Dad insisted that Noah tidy his bedroom. Where Mum is so soft, Dad is so extreme. What is all this? Legos. Yeah, well, you're going to clean them up. Later. Hey, get over here and pick up these Legos. Really? OK, this can be taken away. Sometimes my dad gets really mad, and I don't like it. Pick up the Legos. <laughs> oh! Get back here now! I mean, I don't exactly blame Noah for running away. Dad's tone and the way he manhandles him, it's got to be scary for that boy. All right, I'm going to give you one chance to pick these Legos up. And if I pick them up, then they're going to be taken away. OK, well then, say goodbye to your Legos then. Dad was getting angry by the minute, so I left him upstairs to tidy up the toys. Where's Noah? In there. Huh? In there. In there? Get out, please, from there. <laughs> Noah, get out. Noah, Noah, that's not safe. And when I came downstairs to see where Noah was, he was hiding in the ottoman away from his dad. And before I knew it, Dad was back. He's not done with Noah yet. Noah, getting tired of you just tossing your shoes wherever you feel like it. Do you know what I want you to do right now? What would I listen to you to me? I shouldn't have to do this, but I will spell it out for you again. Get over here! The bone in the grass! Get here now! You aren't told to walk away from me. Get over here! You're yelling at me. Because you don't do a single thing I ask you to do. You're disrespectful to me and your whole family. You don't come in the house and kick your shoes off and then refuse to pick them up when you're told to do so. Now get over there and pick them up. Now! Dad completely lost it. He's out of control. He scares those kids. But he doesn't scare me, and I'm going to need to talk to him. Go upstairs so I don't have to drag you upstairs and go to bed. I can't. Okay. I can't. So we got to do this now. I can't, because you're going to hurt me. <laughs> The big, mean dad will go away if you simply do the simple task you're being asked to do. Good night. A dad had asked Noah to stay in his room for the rest of the evening, but I just wanted to check on Noah to see that he was OK after such a large confrontation with Dad. Do you know why your dad was angry with you tonight? I didn't listen to him being a jerk. He yelled at me all the time. So Dad needs to work on how he talks to you, right? and being respectful, and you need to work on your listening skills, right? Tomorrow, okay, I'm going to sit and I'm going to talk to your mum and dad about things that need to change. Because this isn't good, is it? Clearly, the relationship between Noah and his dad has broken, and it's going to take some hard work to get it back together again. Coming up on Super Nanny. 
mom and dad's relationship is on the line. If I ever thought that it was better for the kids for us to be apart, would I do it? Absolutely. But can dad move past his own parents? Maybe that was the old-fashioned way of looking at things, but it worked. I want to focus on us, on our kids, on our situation, on us. When Super Nanny returns.